hello hello guys Sanetic here with a new video for you and yep that is a accurate representation of me yep I think it's perfect okay so today we're gonna talk about um, wine making uh, more accurately ugh, I was just pressing wine in my home for my backyard okay moving on so what the heck I was doing I was doing the following you see uh, we are using a very well uh, let's say old if not an antique uh, wine presser but it's actually good I mean we're not working for we're not working for an industry or something like that so we're just pressing wine so uh, to top that, I was just wanted to explain to you what exactly was. So, a wine press is a device used to extract juice from crushed grapes during uh, wine making. Uh, there are a number of different uh, styles of presses that are uh, used by winemakers, but their overall uh, functionality is the same. Each type of press exerts control pressure in order to free the juice from the fruit, most often grapes. The pressure must be controlled, especially with grapes, in order to avoid uh, crushing the seeds and releasing a great deal of undesirable uh, tannins to the um, wine. Wine was being uh, made at least a long time ago, uh, 6000 before Christ in uh, 2011. Uh, wine press was unearthed in Armenia with red uh, wine dated 6,000 years old. So that's quite some time. But okay, basically, I start. We started to do some uh, to to press some wine, and boom! I can just show you the next uh, picture. Actually, if you can see. For those who are really, really interesting to the, uh, interested to the subject, sorry, uh, you can just see. I will not speak about this. You can just pause the this video and then figure out for yourself. Maybe you want to build it or something like that. Basically, it's a press, uh, sort of look like a barrel or cylinder, and then you just press uh, slowly. You have some disc discs that pressed on the wall and see on the base. Uh, slowly 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 with a pipe the pipe has a bracket or something the different names but I don't use them uh, basically this is this is a drawing that you can use at any time you can even make it if you are uh, clever if not you can call a friend or you can just buy it I mean uh, we are in 2016 <laughs> uh, okay so for this uh, let's become a little bit more serious uh, we started uh, too much talking with the technology so will become a little bit more serious so this is me in my house uh, house <coughs> well I would say garden something like that uh, so that is the uh, our grapes uh, there were actually plenty of them this picture already was taken uh, when uh, I started already <laughs> as you can see uh, is very funny and these pictures I like very much because I cut I catch a little bit of sun as you can see the rays rays of the sun and uh, this uh, these ones are very beautiful pictures okay so this is me uh, trying and trying basically you just uh, collect the, the grapes and they are beautiful beautiful grapes and then you just put it on the press you see it's a little bit unconventional uh, it's a little bit different that uh, other people are using you're using like this we are uh, collecting the grapes putting in that com big container um, and press it first time and then we press it again and again and again uh, you can say this procedure is basically resembling like continuously uh, uh, continuously pressing the wine or something like that but actually we are continuously pressing mixing and then finally in the end the result it's a very strong wine um, 
but we are making uh, very in a careful way not to make it too strong i mean not to make <laughs> ethylic alcohol or something <laughs> like that of course you want to create that you need to boil it but uh, we have a similar process but with no boiling so uh, but in any case th this is only for uh, house use is not for uh, selling or st something like that it's just for you i mean few grapes that you have you can just make something very very beautiful so this is uh, my work what i was doing there me and my um, my grandfather i'm very lucky to have it alive my uh, to have him uh, alive uh, but basically a more accurate portrayal what I, what i was doing there with the grapes is this you know i mean uh, yes this is the the perfect uh, way to see what i was doing there so we're putting the wine uh, sorry not wine the grapes we're pressing them first time this is the first time we collect the juice we and the juice we put it in um, in a barrel okay so we done this all day until the night time i was very very tired and you, you see how it looks it looks a little bit like a crime scene but it's very funny it's only wine so of course and then of course you can see me you will hear me in a few time i was very 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 tired it was night time but i was happy that we finished in one day what we had to do <laughs> we did not have to do the next day also but anyway the next day it was only pressing the wine so uh, keep in mind of this and watch it what i say ciao ciao okay after a day's work and this is the result <laughs> Finished. Ooh. It's night time. <laughs> Very tired. But I'm happy. This would be a great wine. Mwah. Superb. Mm, not much but for what I have in my my uh, garden. It's okay. Yes. Just look at this. so uh, <laughs> uh, my battery died basically and because of this uh, I, <laughs> I did not finish my sentence but uh, I think you all understood my point basically uh, it was night time we finished uh, and we just had to clean and then go to the next day okay so next day our tools and we started to put them easy uh, step by step this is the small cylinder barrel, something like that. As you see, it's from wood, of course, it's the best way. N do not use metal. For the walls, use wood because it's more better. Okay, uh, okay. The, to be honest, this is, uh, of course, a very old one, so, but it still is very good um, presser. As you see, we put the discs. Okay, we put them in place, and the wall is also with, um, with wood inside, uh, disc type wood yeah so that uh, that was it we just put it and then we press it and um, in the night time uh, we collect it in uh, another cylinder types uh, of containers and then we went for the boiling point and the boiling point actually was something like this uh, we put it in water in a container i'll show it you'll see in the video and um, to prevent from the gases flowing uh, out and uh, into the room and if is this happening for example if you stay in the room you can die if uh, it accumulates more gases so there is a easy way to do this without um, putting too much uh, gas or even uh, using it. You, you see in the in the video it's a clever way of doing this and it's a very 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 old way okay guys Sanetic here as you can see hello and this is the last this is the last day and um well this is uh, approaching the end process now uh, we call this uh, point the boiling point or something like that uh don't worry everything will be explained uh, i'll explain quick in uh, but uh, in this short video it will be only to show you i want to show you guys exactly the process so this is the second day already night time was plenty of work i'm very happy that we have two containers now to this uh, big 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 containers uh, 
actually it's plenty a lot for what we have in our uh, backyard and I'm uh, very happy for this process okay so this is how it looks one bucket of water yeah this is covered you know why it's covered it is going here and it's transforming the process that we call uh, the boiling point is because it eliminates some gases and if you leave it like this the gases can become very strong and powerful and when you enter a room for example and the room the door of the room it's not open or something like that um, you can uh, die yes you can die you heard me right so another for the picture yeah here this is how it looks so all we have to do is just sit back and wait and from time to time check it um, if everything is correct yes covered and if it's going well yeah thank you so guys thank you for watching this video i just uh, wish you to have a fantastic day and yep for me that is it don't forget to like subscribe comment and uh, share and of course upvote because this uh, video is also for steamit don't forget about that so yes i will drink some juice because it's not yet a wine but heck it's so good it's so good oh my god it's so good and see you again goodbye